Hello, welcome to Project Beat. Uh, today we are building a new version of a three zone ride. Um, I am in the process of upgrading my E symbol setup into this um, B20 low volume symbols that I found. They're the same uh, company who made the previous one that I'm using. It's a bit more expensive than that because this is B20. If you're gonna use this as a low volume symbol, this actually sounds good, um, but it's not too quiet. So you might want to keep that in mind. If you are getting a nicer sound um, low volume symbol, the downside of it is it will be much louder than a regular basic low volume symbol. So there's that. Let's get on with it. I chose to get this kit. It's not really a kit, but I, I hope they made an option to get it as a kit. So this is the new triple zone trigger box from Go eDrum. So you can see there are now two jack inputs there. Uh, one for the ride bow, which is this part, and then one for the bell, which is this trigger right here. So this is the bell trigger. The good thing about this one is it goes under. So it sticks right under the bell. And I believe this is a peso trigger. We will see and find out how well it works. But for now, we are just in the process of trying to figure out how to build this thing. The good thing about this setup versus the old one is I had to solder a lot. And for the ride, uh, I mean for the bell, you have to build your layers for the membrane in order for it to work properly. This is what I did with mine. I use a double-sided industry grade uh, tape as a riser the, to that white silver part. And then I put this, this is actually a sole protector for the shoe on top. So uh, you, had, you had to build your, your bell setup. It, it works great, but the problem is if you built it like this thin, you had to really be on point or really be on target with that to make it to make that bell sound, which is kind of a hassle at times. So one of the reasons I'm upgrading to this, uh, apart from this looks way better. <laughs> so the kit that I ordered for this setup is in this triple zone trigger box we have the bell trigger and i got myself a 360 degree edge membrane look at that no more worrying about symbols turning and you're not gonna hit the the edge or or, or things like that now you are sure you're gonna hit an edge sound even if your symbols turn and no more soldering all of these just plugs in directly to the trigger box so that's one good thing the only thing i don't like with this setup is one they don't really give you any instructions like where to plug this thing in inside you have to message them they reply really quickly though but still it would be nice if if you have all the instructions in the box when you receive this the, the other thing is you don't know which cable goes where they didn't put any indicate indicator or any label here where you're supposed to put the bell side or the bow side i guess you have to guess <laughs> also another thing i don't like with um, this plastic box is this thing the one that holds that uh, nut the plastic part it breaks if you're gonna go this route i would recommend you get some small washers like this so you gotta put it right there that would make sure it will not break on you and another thing is this screw that's supposed to hold the the trigger for my situation that is it's not the same for every low volume you see that that screw just goes through right so you you need a washer for that i i wish they would have included that but that's just a small thing, so it comes with a sticky back. It's not 3M, there's that. Another thing, extra work that you had to do. You don't need to solder anything with this setup, but 
you have to drill that's a trade-off i marked the points where i have to drill so the rest of the installation is easy it's just the drilling part by the way they also have u rubber channel one piece this one's a bit thicker so it's up to you if you want to go this route i am not sponsored by the way but they did give me a very good price for this so thank you go e-drum all the links of these parts will be in the description it will be uh, an affiliate link so if you buy from that link you are helping this channel without added cost to you so i appreciate your support all right let's get drilling Got that sorted. Let's try. Okay. Yep. Got some uh, bit of allowance there, so pretty okay. Next step, we're gonna move on to attaching it. That's our. Like to be flush with the edge. Like that. That is clean. Okay. By the head, you drop or drill again. Second, it ain't worth it. Front. Okay. 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 So that's how it looks. Next one. Okay, let's start off with this one. This side. Okay. So, from underneath, you just plug this in, like so. Perfect. Get this. Okay, less moving parts, but yeah, that should be good. At this point, you can, uh, you can put the uh, rubber ring. If you don't know, this helps with reducing vibrations. Uh, that would cause double triggering and issues with the trigger box. So this would help a lot to, to reduce those vibrations and also to keep it tidy since your edge membrane is on top of your symbols. It's kind of like a stealthy solution to cover it. You would need to stretch a little bit because it's not a super tight fit so good. this one's a very nice material that they have it's a little bit thick we will see if it gets the job done by the way uh previously when i ordered uh, the edge membrane from work precaution they would suggest to stick a foam riser on top of this uh, edge membrane Go e drum didn't mention anything like that, so I would assume that this will be good just by covering it with this rubber. We will see. I will report to you guys my review in a couple weeks. So, so next is the trigger box. Had to uh, a message go e drum about where to put the this ribbon cable inside the, the trigger box and they told me plug the bell to to b and the c for edge i guess c stands for crash but okay they have improved this a little bit depending on how hard you hit this cover will just fly off based on my experience so they have improved this side, but I don't think they improved this this part right here. So, so I still suggest you use a washer. Okay, so now they use this uh, 
retention clips i think i don't know what it's called but yeah bell oh i think this is bell it says b right there now if you can see there's b there's c and then on this side this side says b so i assume this is the bell this is where you plug in the bell this is crash which one do we get first so let's have some, a bit of a strategy which do we plug first there's a hole by the way <laughs> at the back of this uh trigger so if you if i want it facing that way okay let's plug in the crash first okay bend like that i think that would help easier to plug in nope one more try from here come on yes got it okay the other one okay there. this just goes in like so and the bell trigger will just stick here clean solution i think right triggery yes good let me just test this before before I, before I put everything together. If you're facing this way, left left side should be bell. This should be bow. So if if you have the Roland module, you have two cables. This is the bell, the one that says RDB. So right bell and the other one that says R RD. B for bell. Let's try it. That's bell. That's bow. Okay, we got bow. Okay, we got crash. Wait, what's happening? Not getting bell. Oh, there it is. got bell everything was working great i want to put a sticker on where the bell goes sticker bell side now where to plug here's good so take one washer another washer for this side so probably a good idea to use loctite yep okay that's in it cover it up this compared to a uh, pre-built e symbol which basically functions the same way this would be way cheaper um, depending also of course on the cost of your low volume symbol if you get the zildjian that's that's expensive so i would suggest get your low volume symbols from aliexpress or alibaba and then get your parts from ebay from go eDrum if you want to go this route there's other brands that trigger symbols but this is the easiest one if you just want plug and play no need to solder no need to to think about wiring diagram and all that i know you could do this by yourself if you know how that will be much cheaper if you're like me who doesn't want to go through all that hassle this is your best solution i would do a long-term review in a couple weeks so i'm excited to try this out i think it looks good and lastly you want to be careful with this side because the solder um of the peso is on this side so just be careful when handling that then we just take this to here. Center. Yes. Okay. There we go. All set. Okay. How long did that take? Say about under an hour. Not including the soldering part. Yeah, it's a fairly quick setup, I think. And it looks good, right? 
Let's do a quick test. Okay, I finally figured it out. Um, instead of using the double-sided foam tape that comes with a bell trigger, I use this kind of like a fur furniture glider that you put on the f on the foot of of your furniture. So I use that to wrap around and stick the and stick the bell trigger directly to the underside of the bell. You need to position it where you would most likely play your bell. In my case, I play it on my left side of the bell. So I'm, I'm putting it there. So when you turn, the trigger is right around here. I tried different positions. This is the best one. And one more thing I want to show you is there's actually a correct way of, of plugging it in. So you want this arrow facing upwards and when you, when you plug it this way. So that's the same thing with the edge membrane that's under here. There's an arrow. That way you know you're, you're plugging it the correct way. With this setup, I wish that uh, Go eDrum would include a wrap around adhesive. In addition to the double side foam that they, that they provide. I think that double side adhesive works best for low volume cymbals that also has holes all throughout the bell as well this symbol is a bit different that it, it doesn't have that holes in the bell this one i will just demo for you a little bit but i will change this up to the bigger bigger tape if by the time you order and go e-drum doesn't provide one so yeah let's try if it okay you have the Bow sound all around doesn't get weak all that much if you go far although the stronger signals is all, of course around here and then you have crash and mute so when you pinch you got mute right um, that edge membrane also has a uh, dynamic, a bit of a dynamic. So when you hit soft, you get a softer, you get a softer crash. Okay, when you hit louder, you're getting a louder crash. I'm only using the stock sounds in the Roland TD17. And then let's try the bell. Okay, when you're playing bell, Especially for this setup, don't play the bell with the, just the tip of your stick. You won't get any bell sound like that. It's, it's the same way if you're playing the bell of an actual acoustic ride. You, all, you still want to use the, the body of the stick to get that nice bell sound, right? So the same way here. <clears throat> you're getting bell. I think I need that. I think I need that tape to get that more secure contact. But I'm getting the bell sound on this area, which is fine by me. Okay, everything is working great. Uh, let me just go over you, with you a little bit about uh, the price difference between that and this. With this set, with my old setup, I'm using Merc Percussion. Now that the Go E Drum is here, it's easier to recommend that setup versus this Merc membrane. One, that looks much cleaner. Two, it's harder to build it up so that it works properly. So you got to put layers on it and rubber and all sorts of recommended rubber by Merck that it's, for me at least, is hard to find. So the Go e-drum would take the win on recommendation. 
price difference i don't think they're too far off i'll put the price difference on the screen for my old setup i'm using dual zone box from go e-drum and then i'm using merc membrane from the for the edge and for the bell if you haven't seen my previous build video you have to do a lot of soldering and figuring things out and experimenting with this setup there's there's none of that or very little of that no soldering a little bit of figuring out where to put your your cables that's the main difference only thing i wish they would improve is uh i, I think they already replaced the, the the trigger box here i hope this is a better quality and would last longer i'll tell you why because this is what's happened to me with my previous okay see that the cover just just took off and the reason why i'm using this because that plastic part just just broke off i may be playing too hard but that part just broke off it's not as durable but it's a very clean setup uh with the build quality i think they are improving i'll report to you guys back in a few in, in a couple weeks if i find any like problems the other thing that i wish is that this cable would come from from under for from from the bottom here so you only have to like fold it down and it and it's under you don't need to drill too many holes right that's one downside you have to do a little bit of handyman work for this to work but aside from that i'm enjoying the setup i'm already playing the hi-hat build if you haven't seen that or if i haven't posted that that will be coming soon i'm just waiting for one more part to arrive that's the 3d printed material that i will be posting and sharing with with all you guys watch out for that i've updated the crash by the way as you can see so it's all looking good everything is looking the same so i have 180 coverage on the hi-hat what i do is just i just lock the um, hi-hat clutch tight so it doesn't move around too much or if it moves not by much so it's still to within that 180 degrees coverage of the edge membrane so i'm still good the thing about this membranes is you still need the signal from the main box for this to get a good sound so if you're too far away from the trigger box your edge sound is is very faint so i don't think i would recommend getting 360 degrees if you want it you have that option it's, it's kind of like the law of diminishing returns it doesn't necessarily mean you have full cover coverage you, you get the, the full sound so you you can weigh uh, whatever is important to you i mean i would save that money to buy other parts if i were you i'm just re learning and realizing this now so that's my recommendation you get less less drilling to do uh for the spinning symbol issue what i do is just put a uh, a thick foam like this and just tighten it up it will still move like a regular symbol you know you have that motion but it won't necessarily um, move around too much right these so far are my recommendations